bottom. John Hunter Nemechek getting a push. Trying to make it to the line. Fogelman is behind him. Fogelman wants to make a move. Can Tate Fogelman do it? He wrecks Nemechek. And it's Fogelman's man. Tate Fogelman wins. Wasn't the instantaneous end of the race. They would not use the cameras as they have consistently. We've seen this before. A caution comes out and then under caution, it rains. You don't go back and reset the field. Such an unbelievable moment. Brandon, you also told me, as you can hear the chants from the, the crowd. Let's go, Brandon. In early October of 2021, NASCAR went from Las Vegas to Talladega, Alabama. Talladega, Alabama. A racetrack with all the unpredictability. I mean, hell, last year we had a winner and a controversy just of its own, but not the entire race weekend. This weekend that we're about to talk about Reigns to the Cup Series, NASCAR, fans, the United States to this day. Let's talk about it and break down all the races and the controversies from that weekend. The race weekend started off with the Gander Outdoor Truck Series on the Saturday of the weekend. The race was a typical Talladega race. You had your Rex, you had your playoff drama, and much, much more. But on the final lap of this race, a guy who typically ran like trash was in prime position for a win. Instead of using the old bump and run, he just flat out wrecked him. Fogelman is behind him. Fogelman wants to make a move. Can Tate Fogelman do it? Oh. He wrecks Nemechek, and it's Fogelman. Fogelman. Tate Fogelman wins. Wow, and the truck is now destroyed. <laughs> Do what you gotta do to win, I guess. But the reason why I see this as controversial is this was the beginning of the end of John Hunter Mitchick's amazing season. If you don't remember, John Hunter Mitchick won a few races and was at his prime in that season. But the next two races, and especially Martinsville, because he got wrecked by another car, it basically almost got him eliminated and in the championship race he ran like dog trash let's say for instance john hunter chick wins this race he goes on to victory lane he has the momentum for martinsville because he don't have to worry about that race he's already locked in for the final four they have their final four car set up they have everything ready for phoenix he might have had a serious shot at the championship if it wasn't for this race right here all right, well, the truck race was race one out of three. Let's go to race two. Xfinity Series race started off just like no other. We had huge rigs, we had big hits, and we had bug boring, boring, chugga, 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 choo, choo, train racing. But towards the end, an underdog by the name of Brandon Brown is in pursuit of his first checkered flag of his career. Now, in this day and age, we all know Brandon, even if you don't know what he does. But the year before, he did make the playoffs with his family team. He has been getting better and better throughout his career. This year has been a little slow, especially since he had to advertise his own sponsor. But Larry's Lemonade is on the car for today's race. With seven laps to go, NASCAR calls the race for visibility. Brandon Brown is the happy he's ever been. He's raced his ass off for this moment right here. And NASCAR fans ruined it. Brandon, you also told me, as you can hear the chants from the, the crowd. Let's go, Brandon. Brandon. This right here is still around to this day. And I think this right here is going to kill the sport of NASCAR. I mean, this year we're struggling with viewers anyway. 
Last year we got a lot of viewers. This year we can't even maintain half of those. So this deal is still going on. Uh, no matter if you go to racetrack, if you go to flea market, anywhere in the south, you're gonna find some Let's Go Brandon merch. And it it it's sold by people who don't even watch motorsports sports in general. It's just people who put, make it. The third and final race of the race weekend was the biggest one yet. The one that they advertised the most, the Cup Series race. The highest ranking in NASCAR. Well, if you watch this video, you'll probably know already. The race started off calm. Now, this race was more cleaner than a lot of the Talladega playoff races compared to 2020, 2020, 2019, etc. Yes, you had your playoff drama, wrecks. Kyle Larson even wrecked, and it could have eliminated him from becoming a champion that year after winning so many races but uh the rain was in the air and the nascar was just racing the rain now winston why is this one controversial but everything else is just i mean of course the let's go brandon one's controversial the truck one not so much but why is this one this one so bad as a nascar fan who really cannot stand Bubba Wallace this was not because I was mad it was because a lot of haters are mad if you ever go down to Talladega Super Speedway and I've been there multiple times the last year I heard anybody cheer for that man was 2018 I believe I don't think I've seen anybody fully cheer on Bubba Wallace at Talladega besides last year when we got on a float those of family wearing all the wall shirts and my brother whispered under his breath Bubba sucks and everybody laughed but nobody nobody likes Bubba at Talladega at least it's like putting a guy let's say Jimmy Johnson out there in a football game I mean no one's gonna like him I mean hell it's exactly the same thing that happened when Jimmy Johnson went to Indy nobody really liked him because all he did was that it's the guy no one cares for that was why people didn't like the winner with about a whole 70 something laps to go i do believe bubba wallace the last big wreck happened taking out william byron and ryan priest bubba wallace was leading when the final caution came out rain started coming through the air and Bubba Wallace won his first ever NASCAR Cup Series race in 2021 at Talladega in the fall. The only race that can surpass this as a controversial race is the 1969 running at Talladega when the drivers made a whole group and it's a huge thing go check out slap shoes video i just put it on the thing i don't i don't think i'll ever link it to the description but yeah but what's so sad about this all three of these races had something to do with controversy john hunter and chick getting wrecked at the truck race and prime position for it, punching his ticket to the final four brandon brown wins and a whole political debate gets stirred up and then Bubba Wallace, a non-playoff driver, first year with a new team, wins, rain delayed race, and fans have an uproar. Every single race this weekend had some kind of controversy at the end of it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. I am going to Talladega this weekend, so thank you guys so much for watching, and like I said, Please leave a like, subscribe for more, and until next time, have a good one.